the horse barn um, in the Moore County area with a bat problem. All right, uh, these bats been eating our lunch all summer. Now it's dinner time, payback. I'm going to actually try to grab these bats and physically relocate them to a different area. As you can see, they're in good position to grab. Very low to the ground. Quick little bat grab. Put them in a breathable net and then take them to the bat haven. And, uh, Mr. Roger, he's a uh, crusty old storekeep here at the Bargain Barn in Rayford, North Carolina. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, so, sir. Good yeah. to see you folks out here. <laughs> okay. So if you uh, ever need some <laughs> knickknacks and paddy wax, he's got a good price on them. When they call this a swarm, yeah. and usually yes, they're not real territorial like a hive. And so a swarm, a lot of times you can do it without a bee suit on and stuff okay. like that. Okay. Some of the wildlife guys, you know, uh, don't like to take chances to get all suited up. Uh, we don't do business like that. I, uh, so to do bee work, uh, good bee work, you know, I have to do a little carpenter work along the line. You have to know how houses are built and how to take them apart to get to the bees. Uh, so uh, here we're wearing our carpenter hat and remember Jesus was a carpenter. Okay, so what we've done here is, uh, they call it a, a bee cutout. Uh, we've exposed the hive and the comb. And uh, this is really some world-class bee footage here called the comb is massive. Uh, it's a double queen hive. Uh, obviously been here for four or five years, even though the lady said they just showed up last week. I think she was negotiating at that point. Uh, but anyhow, we are taking apart a massive bee hive. Uh, you got brand new, yellow comb there from the young queen and on the uh, right of it uh, you'll see just a massive slab of old wax and comb and bees and sails and stuff like that uh, just pretty good stuff you'll never see it anywhere else uh, this is all worker bees oh uh, well you have a uh, queen bee that's one of the hugs and you got uh, the worker bees uh, field bees, uh, and then you have the drones. Uh, the drones are the males. They're useless. All they do is fly around and eat. Uh, and he's a lot bigger than the worker bees. And if you look at them real close, you'll see that big drone. <laughs> at the end of the year, they kick him out and let him freeze to death. For protective of their honeycomb, you have to walk to this hive and live here. But well, the drone bees, they don't give a shit. They live here and then go somewhere else and live there. Bat snatcher. Bat snatcher. Getting all suited up. Get a bat blaster 2000. Bat blaster. A little worried about this because I'm not sure if a technician going up the ladder, you know, do battle with one bat is covered by my insurance. Hey, to, uh, any members of the audience watching out there, don't show any of this to my insurance. Okay, so uh, this is a small colony of bats. Uh, they've been causing a big problem for the Batman all summer long. Uh, we've thrown everything in the book at them, the sticky traps, the netting, uh, the coat, the rubber snake, the plastic owl. Nothing's worked, so we now we're going for the nuclear option. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, look closely, there's a bat on Ducky's back. Nobody's told him anything about it. Uh, so uh, not only do wildlife, uh, we do chimney sweeps and sometimes they blend together. Uh, we get animals and chimneys. Might not have a chimney cap on there now, you know, for a while, then it's not washed down. Uh, so we're about to cap a chimney off here. And as usual, Medlock drew the short straw. Uh, get your rock star ass on the chimney now. Get the show on, get the show on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, some things are predictable, bats aren't. This could go either way. I got him. I got him. I got one on my back. Uh, no, he fell off. He's on your leg. He's on your leg. Woo! 
Okay. I'm back up. I'm back up here. Thank you. Got him. All right. Yeah. There's one right here. Yeah. Get him. Get him. Yeah. We need to check every knee to the Okay, this looks pretty brave. The guys going after the bats, it'll never work without the dip pad. <laughs> I got it. Come on, little buddy. Off the bat count. All right. Let's search them out. There's one right there. So you see us here backing the bees out of the comb and uh, you see little bees running out saying, me next, me next. What does the queen look like? She's about an eighth of an inch bigger than the other 40,000 honeybees. Okay, okay so this is a tedious job and you're vacuuming up 40,000 honeybees one at a time. Uh, part of the reason the house is falling apart uh, doesn't make my job any easier. And at this moment, we've been on the ladder for about an hour and 45 minutes on a 28 foot ladder. The queen is going to be in the back, and there'll be a ball of bees around her. You know, they're fighting to save her. Man slash B man. <laughs> Doing what we can do to get his help stung. Hollywood calling. 280 And in the meantime, my cameraman's on the phone with Nashville nonstop. Uh, we'll take this slab of brood comb back to our apiary and install it or rehive it in uh, an existing beehive. In the industry, we call these freebies, okay? So they're paying us to take these bees and uh, we're gonna make some bucks off of them. In the meantime, I'm all suited up and uh, haven't felt any stings yet, but I'm, I'm kind of hoping my cameraman might feel some of the action over there. Okay, uh, so the uninformed uh, amateur, this looks like a bag of bass. Uh, to Saving me, it bats. looks like a check. There he goes. Hey, that's enough. Too much. <laughs> Up. Oh, we got a runner. We got a runner. Hey, what's the net? Hey, what's the <laughs> there he is. There's one. Right there. Right. <laughs> there, there, there is two of them. I got him left. There's two of them. There's two of them. Come here, buddy. <laughs> There's one right here. Whoa! <laughs> we got one. Don't fall. So this is three the, minutes uh, worth of hole. planning and about an hour and a half worth of execution. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so after the bat stacks failed, uh, we crawl around on our hands and knees. Oh, the bat <laughs> uh, so what uh, John is about to do here, uh, they have gas logs coming over tomorrow and the gas log company want the chimney swept uh, before they put in their brand new gas logs, they call it an appliance. And uh, they want it swept and sealed, so. Get your ass up there, Medlock, cap off that chimney. Uh, so Ducky's gonna go up and cap off the people's chimney, uh, a little bit tougher than it looks like, you have to choose an approach. Uh, he goes up the valley a little bit safer and walks the ridge, to caps off the chimney. Uh, sort of an everyday thing for us. Uh, looks easy, ain't that easy. Beautiful slabs of capped honey, and you can see up on the close-up, you know, the clear clearness of it, and uh, 
on a scale of one to 10, you know, this is about a 15 wildlife hunting, wildflower hunting. Okay. All right, when you say cat honey, what does that mean? Uh, when they cap the honey, they have to evaporate, they bring in nectar, and they put it in the sails, and then they fan it, and uh, the wind over it evaporates the moisture out of it, and it brings the moisture down from 60% to less than 15%, uh, maybe as low as 8%, at that point it won't spoil. And so when they get it down to say 8% moisture, then they cap it over, and it lasts for centuries. They have gotten cap honeycomb out of the pyramids before. Nothing wrong with it. Here we go. So once they cap it, uh, as long as it's stable and everything, not exposed to water and stuff like that, it essentially lasts forever. Forever. So that's a pretty nice honey there. Alright, down we go. Okay. Uh, so this is a shot of my uh, nephew Taylor. Uh, and rehiving the bees uh suitless and shirtless you know posing as the bee hunk unfortunately we did have a few but they might have got a little squished seeing if i can spot the queen anywhere it's always an interesting task more than likely she's going to be in here still So this is what we call a bat catch and release here. Uh, the bats have been uh, terrorizing the lady at the horse farm all summer long. We gave them about five chances to leave the easy way. Uh, they were defecating on the horse hay and scaring the lady's clients. So now we're going to call them and release them. Looks like all of them made it. I'll help you out fly a little, buddy. There you go. Fly away, little buddy. Fly away, little buddy.